Hi, this is uh, Brian Fields with the uh, Florida uh, Hamwan here in Tampa Bay. It's uh, flscg.org, and this is a Dyna Dish uh, 5, which is a little 25 dBi, um, I'm thinking 25, 24 dBi gain antenna with a uh, micro tick um, 802.11n uh, and uh, 802.11ac access point. But this will actually work as a client radio, which is kind of interesting. Uh, because it'll support the the narrower uh, 10 megahertz bandwidth, but this is as it comes from uh, uh, I, I just actually bought one off of Amazon. Uh, it was under $200 just drop shipped and uh, There's really no assembly required, but I wanted to do an unboxing video of it so uh, people can see what to expect So as it comes uh, It's basically this large part here, and that's all there is. There's nothing else in the box. It comes out in a big piece, and um, I think I'm still in focus here, it looks like. Um, I don't know which side is up here. Uh, it looks like this is actually the upside, and it is. I'm right. So, you see, you take that off, and uh, there's the Dyna dish. Essentially, no assembly required here. Um, it's pretty much ready to go. It just needs uh, uh, Ethernet in there, and uh, looks like the. Let me set this aside here. The uh, the bracket and some instructions are in here right now. You can kind of see that right here, um, along with the uh, power supply. And this is a 24 volt power supply. Set that aside. One of the brackets looks like it's stainless steel. The other bracket, and that's actually captivated, so you can set your up tilt on it, which is very nice. And then uh, the power inserter right there. I think there should be some nuts around here. Well, let me double check. Uh, oh, they're in the bag. So, um, let me see if we're still move this stuff in focus here. You have the um, tilt down just a bit. Um, we have the bracket right here. Um, power supply and the power injector, I'm going to set that over there. It looks like this is the mounting hardware. And experience has taught me this is probably all metric stuff. So Dyna Dish is going to mount like this, which means. That is going to mount, I think, like that is how it looks, uh, or possibly this way. Um, I thought it went the other way, but you know what? I don't think it really matters how it goes on there. It's, uh, it's going to mount, the pole is going to go there, so you can see that behind it. Let me see if you can still see this. I can get this in a little bit closer here. Get some bolts. Okay. There we go, that's better. So you can kind of see how there's the four screw holes there. And this uh, fits into it like that. And then, let's see. There's probably going to be some washers involved here. Those are the bigger ones. And these are going to be the smaller ones. These are going to have bigger washers. So basically what you're going to do, you take a washer and a screw. Go like that with it. And then... Uh, just uh, tighten it on down. Uh, these probably are metric, as I mentioned. So, I'll tighten them down a little bit later. But for the purposes of this, showing how to assemble it, I think this works. Be interested to see what the feed point arrangement looks like, but. I don't feel like disassembling it right now. And that's three. And now four. Actually, it looks like they give us some extra nuts in here, which is kind of a nice thing. Uh, Microtech has been fairly stingy on hardware previously, and 
some of this stuff, finding replacements for it isn't exactly easy. Okay. This would be your U-bolt here. Just through there like that, and your mast is going to sit in there. And the way this typically works is you put a big washer on, you put one of the small lock washers, and then you put your nut on there. And that, right there, is the Dyna Dish. This is probably the easiest access point or client radio to set up for Hamland. So, that's the Microtech Dyna Dish. And uh, check us out, uh, Florida Simulcast Group, also uh, Tampa Bay Hamland. We're all one and the same. And uh, if you want to get online, uh, if you look at our coverage map, this dish will actually have to be solidly in the yellow. Uh, even then, you may need the bigger dish or need to move around or get some more height. Uh, this, is a, this is a lower gain dish than what we do for our standard client, which is a uh, uh, 30 dBi uh, radio. Uh, so this has uh, anywhere from 5 to 6 or 7 dB less gain. Um, so that's, um, that's why we prefer using the larger one. Uh, and they're about the same price point. This is just very, very convenient. The larger one is a, it's a much larger dish. And I'm going to get a dish and compare it and show you. And uh, I'll zoom out here a little bit. You can see that's a larger dish there in the, uh, the background. And uh, actually do one cool thing here, just to compare the diameters, since we can set all this stuff like this. That's the diameter of a small dish versus the big dish. And uh, you can see it's, uh, it's significantly smaller, significantly lighter weight. So that's what you're sacrificing there to go with the, <laughs> the smaller antenna is that gain. Um, and, you know, again, if you're just doing it for experimentation, this will get you online. Um, and uh, you can play around with it. Worst case, you got to go with a bigger one. And again, these are the entire radio setups, a couple hundred dollars. So this is this is the cheapest, easiest thing to do in ham radio right now. Um, anyways, uh, thanks for your time, and I appreciate the watching the unboxing thing. This is uh, Brian Fields, uh, amateur radio call sign W9CR.